situation, of, at least in terms of the intensity, was that from Tuesday night? Uh, continuation, I think it was uh, more a response. They, they wanted to do better. Uh, I felt we were the better team up there, and they wanted to prove that. Listen, I think both of us feel we're the best in the Atlantic. So we went up there, got the two points in their building, they wanted to respond. <laughs> and for the simple reason is that, that the rivalry has developed now between the two of us. You're going to get some some intense matchups, and that's what you got tonight. And they were more ready to go off off the puck drop than we were, and it ended up being the difference in the game. Just to follow up on you know off the puck drop there, the, the two shorties on the power play there. I mean, how much? I don't know if backbreak is the word, but just well, <laughs> that's, they're a really good hockey team. You spot them two goals. Like look what we did. We battled all night to get back into it, we never did. I mean, in terms of, we got back into it, sorry, but we never got the equalizer. It's just, it's a big hill to climb. So, lack of urgency in our top group. Um, you know, a little bit uncharacteristic, but it's crept into our game. So this this would be good for us to our power play to get their attention a little bit. You know, it's crept into practice. It's crept into our execution and urgency over the past probably month. So uh, a bit of a reset for us, hopefully, and get back to where we, we typically operate. Bruce, on, on, the, on the first short and a goal, I mean, Bergie kind of wins that face off. So, I mean, is, is that guy supposed to get sort of picked? Well, Coyle has to block and Pasta has to be ready. I mean, they just they can't win both the, the, the position battle and the foot race, and off they go. So, we got two guys that weren't ready. Um, they were. You don't get the two points. The crowd loves all the, the, the shenanigans with the fighting and stuff. Is there a value in that for you, for you as a coach, for the team? Well, there's value in sticking up for one another. There's a value in responding. Of course, there is. Uh, and, and some nights it's more important than the outcome. Uh, I'm not going to sit here and say one or the other. We'll look through it. But we wanted to respond. There was, you know, we thought a high hit early on Kasha. You know, he's been out. Uh, we responded well. Um, and it was kind of on from there, the physicality part. So I think both teams, you know, Kind of went toe to toe in that regard. So yeah, there, there's a lot of value in that. We pride ourselves in that. Um, in fact, it was discussed earlier this year that we didn't have enough of that, and I, I, I certainly feel we do. And certainly try to prove that tonight. We try to win the game at the same time. Is there a hope that Tuka maybe could have had one of those first two? Well, yeah, you need a save. Their goalie was making saves. I'm not going to absolve him either, but I'm just looking at how the how the chances were manufactured. And the five guys in the ice that worked by four. That's where it starts. Of course, we could have used a save and maybe two, and all of a sudden they probably just forget about it and keep playing. But um, that doesn't happen every night. He's been rock solid for us, too, because so it's a bit of the guy. It's like, hey, you just can't get rid of his chances. Now, I don't think it's been a shorthanded parade like it was as much last year as this year. I think there has been more attention to that part of the game. We just didn't have it early on tonight in terms of having the urgency to, against a team that we talked about will try to score shorthanded goals. So it wasn't like this surprised us. This is in their DNA. And so that's the frustrating part as a coach. We kind of knew it was they would attempt that and they were able to do it even though we talked about it. How would you describe what word you use just to describe the, the rivalry? Uh, what word? Well, I think it's it's becoming more intense and it'll become more meaningful should we meet again. Um, and it's getting amped up because you know both teams probably feel physically they're up to the challenge, whereas maybe before I, I, I mean they beat us in a series a couple of years ago. They were very hard against us. We weren't quite there, so we've kind of address that and, and they feel they're probably back there. I can't answer for them, but that's how it looked tonight. Bruce, two more. Bruce, it seemed like the last three minutes of the second period was maybe the most sustained pressure of the night for you guys and the ability to keep it in the offensive zone. Can you talk about that, that period in the game where you guys were able to keep it in the zone? Well, oh, that's our push, right? We, we feel we're getting back into the game. We're getting some hits. We're getting some puck possession. We're, we're on the attack. We're getting our chances. So we've got life. It's energy. And, uh, it's happened to us in the past where it's hard to get out of to clear pucks. You lose, start losing races. You, you, know, you don't get clears. You're stuck in your own end. You're fatigued. So that gave us a lot of juice. It was a big goal for us. Um, unfortunately, we took a penalty on a scrum at the end of the period. I'm not even sure what happened with Marshy, but we end up in the box. They don't. Uh, that took some life away from us on our, you know, on our power play. So the life we created 
kind of went by the wayside a little bit. They score on a, on a power play goal, and now you're climbing uphill again. Uh, you know, if it's 3-2, I like our chances better. Uh, once they got that fourth one now, they're a good team, and they're probably going to find a way to put the game away, and, and sure enough, they did. Yet, David Posnick's on a breakaway with the, you know, the tying goal on his stick. So I thought there was a good effort to, uh, to push and, and get the, the tying goal. Nordy on a shorty. They scored two shorties. We had a post. So sometimes it's a fine line. And uh, just to, you know, at the end of the day, we didn't capitalize at the end when we needed to. What do you think Moore's last one? Go ahead. Nick hasn't been with you that long, but he's right in the midst of everything, standing up for his teammates. Does that, does that say something about him? And has that, has that been good for getting sort of indoctrinating him into your culture? It is good, and, and I'm glad to see that uh, part of it. Uh, I mean, we were told he was a good teammate, so it doesn't surprise me, but you never know until, until that, that situation presents itself. And unfortunately, got taken out of the game a bit with the 10 minute misconduct. Now you're Going back on the ice, you're, you're cold. So uh, I was happy to see him do it. Um, it's not the, now he's done it a few times for us. But and he, he, you know, after they hit on cash, he was the first one to go over, I believe, as well, to try to, you know, to sort of rectify that situation. But at the end of the day, he knows that that's part of what we do here, and it's not important. Thanks, everyone.